It's time for some good fucking news in the indie scene. There's been a lot of trash, a lot of game shutdowns. It's been rough, but I think I just woke up an entire dev team with a single tweet, and I honestly couldn't even be more happy about it. My name is Big Fry. Before we get into today's news, I gotta remind you all that the June giveaway with BenQ Mobius is almost done. You only have 12 hours to join in on the biggest giveaway yet, a 32-inch 2K curved monitor, 165 hertz of glorious gaming, and it can be yours if you win. But in order to win, you gotta enter and you also gotta live in North America. Shipping, it's it's kind of a bitch right now. Click the link down below, follow the instructions to join in. You gotta give us both a Twitter follow and a Twitch follow, and that's four entries into this giveaway. Listen, if you guys are in the market for a monitor, you need to check out BenQ and their Mobius gaming lineup. A lot of places are having sales on these monitors right now as well, so now is the perfect time to check them out. These things all have HDRI support, deep shadows, crisp pictures, an awesome audio system powered by Travolo. BenQ and I are in the process of powering my entire gaming system with the Mobius line. These things are sick. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm simply passing the deals on to you to give away monitors every single month. Click the link down below, check out the monitor lineup, and enter into the giveaway if you're in North America. Big shout out to BenQ Mobius for constantly supporting this channel and giving back to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you today about due process. Due process was one of the most unique tactical experiences that I've played in my life, and although I never got to play it a lot, it always stuck with me. It was rough around the edges and needed some tweaks and refinement to really bring it up to a standard that I think people would actually give it a chance, but it was such a refreshing game to play when we did get the chance to. And now it's completely dead. But it's not? I put a tweet out on June 23rd saying I've been thinking about due process lately with some screenshots and I mentioned that the game is dying with one of the screenshots showing that one player was online and a peak of four in the last 24 hours and I straight up just added the dev team who at the time hadn't tweeted since January of this year. What followed was a string of tweets where the devs memed that their game was dead. I'm not sure if I offended them with what I said, but truthfully, I don't give a shit if I did. If a single tweet of what I consider appreciation is enough to make them communicate with a customer base, then great. That tweet was then followed up with an update. Our next update will include an update to our hit reg. It's not awful anymore. First off, thank f for that. That was the biggest problem with the game, and the fact that it's no longer an issue, great. Ranked experience overhaul, so they're bringing ranked to the table, and in a follow-up tweet, they showcase what that looks like. They're bringing co-op PvE to the game, which in my opinion, is the one thing a game like this needs, because if it doesn't have players, it's literally useless in your Steam library, so bringing bots to the game is huge. As well as new animations and quality of life improvements. And then they linked to their Trello board, which showcases everything that these guys have been working on and are working on in the future. Now I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna say that I feel due process released too early on all fronts. Yes, the game is in early access, but it clearly had issues and people weren't sticking around. But what due process did well is what other games are doing well now, and I feel like this may be the time for due process to come back with a new outlook and really potentially hit it big. For those who don't know the game at all, it was a tactical FPS with a very unique and, in my opinion, a dope-ass art style. It featured procedurally generated levels that changed every round, so you had planning phases that allowed you to draw on the map, plan your entry, but the map was always different. You also had a pool of gear that you can choose from, but if you lost it during the round, you weren't getting it back, so you had to make it last, which I thought was so cool. In terms of the procedurally generated levels, Six Days in Fallujah is doing that now, albeit on a a much deeper level, but Due Process had this going like six years ago. The unique art style that isn't realistic and looks great in my opinion, Battlebit anybody? Battlebit has shown people that gamers don't need realistic visuals to enjoy a game. Now what Due Process needs to do, and it looks like they're doing it, is getting their core foundation correct. Come back, make sure your hit reg is working, make sure that 
all of the quality of life improvements that you've been wanting to do are in there. And then we can start focusing on content, which I felt was the biggest lacking feature of the game. But these guys are cooking. So right now, when you look at their Trello board, just to kind of break down what these guys are working on, in terms of engineering, they're working on hit reg improvements, their ranked overhaul, as well as player collision. Gameplay, they're bringing in the ballistic shield. They're adding a bot mode, as well as deployment ghosts. And in the description of Deployment Ghosts, they say new players often misjudge where utility gets deployed with new ghosts to show you where they'll end up. Ineffective barbed wires and misjudged grenade throws will be a thing of the past. So basically showing you where you're actually going to be placing some of these items, which I think is yeah, desperately needed. They're working on a comprehensive sound overhaul, improved weapon impacts, as well as a bank theme, which is going to be added to the official soundtrack. Now, when this update comes out, nobody really knows, but I'm really happy to see that Due Process is still in development and these guys haven't given up on the title yet, even though the numbers, like, they do look bleak. I will say, I feel like if this was any other team, they probably would have closed their doors based on what we've been seeing in the multiplayer space recently. And this is one game that I, I really don't want to see die because it is one of the most unique tactical FPSs that we have seen. It just had a lot of issues, and that's the whole point of early access is to get those issues fixed, and here we are. In the future, it looks like we can look forward to things like lights out on object destruction, clan support, a new ping system, new attacker weapons, silencers, as well as new levels. It looks like they're going to be expanding the factory map as well as adding a new level into the equation. We can also look forward to improved sprint and idle animations, a new updated HUD, and new character art, which will be coming in the future. It's one of those things where I, I really want to recommend this game, especially now. It's 67% off until July 13th. This isn't sponsored. I just really wish more people would give it a chance. Granted, the game isn't in a very good state right now. There aren't a lot of people playing, so it's almost impossible for me to sit there and be like, guys, it's only like $5. Go pick it up. There's nobody playing. We would have to populate the shit ourselves, which is a little unfortunate. That being said, when this new update comes out, best believe I will be jumping in and I will be trying to see how this game feels with all of these quality of life improvements as well as that hit reg. The hit reg is, is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Back when we were playing before, like the game was fun. You can definitely see the quality, but some firefights were basically ruined because of the hit reg. And if they can get that working and they can get that going, great. When this update comes out, I strongly urge you guys, if you have the game, Let's come back in and actually play it. I might put a stream together and we'll try to get this game even a little bit populated because I feel like they deserve our support. And I actually hope these guys potentially consider maybe going free to play. I don't know if that would completely kill the project or not, but something drastic needs to change here. And I'm hoping that this new update, whenever that's coming out, is the first step into that drastic change. Let me know what you guys think of Due Process down below. This has been a game in development for a long time from a very dedicated group of devs, and I just want to see them win. If you guys end up liking the video, leave a like on it, subscribe for everything FPS related and make sure you guys join the BenQ giveaway down below in the top of the description and the top pinned comment. As always, my name is Big Fry and I'll see you on the next one.